and welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'm showing you the color layering technique. Color layering allows you to get gradated color and different values with just your ink pads. Start off with inks that are coordinating together in different tones and in this case I'm using greens and pinks. I'm also using earth flowers from our artist proof collection. To start my card, I'm going to stamp my green vines at the bottom of the card first. For this, I've chosen the vine image from the earth flowers and I went ahead and applied it to my block. For this project, I'm going to be using Hero Hues Green Ink and our shadow ink Soft Leaf. I'm going to start with the darker ink first. So go ahead and apply your ink to the stamp just by tapping and get full coverage. Since I'm creating a background, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this off onto scratch paper first. Then I can go ahead and stamp my lighter image next. Since I still have residue on the stamp, I'm going to go ahead and apply my soft leaf ink without cleaning the stamp. This is going to give me a new, complete, different color. Now it's a mixture between the two inks. I'll stamp again. Without cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and reapply the soft leaf ink, and I'll get a lighter tone than the one sitting next to it. And I'll apply again. This gives me my last light image for my background. Now I'd like to create some vines that look like they're sitting in the foreground. So this time I'm just going to use the dark ink. I'll go ahead and scoot my stamp down further so it looks like they're sitting closer. And just reapply the dark ink and stamp again. I'll show you this up close. For my flowers, I've chosen some red tones. I can use either soft pink or soft blossom, and I've chosen soft pink to go with my ruby color. I'll start with a little flower that I've already applied to the block from the Earth Flower Set and Hero Hughes Ruby Ink. What I've noticed with this ink is when you stamp the first image, it's nice and bold and when I stamp the second image it's quite light. I kind of think I like the dark one to start off with. So I'm going to go ahead and reapply the ink and stamp onto my project. Without cleaning I'm going to go ahead and ink it up with soft pink ink and re-ink again and re-ink again and yet again and I'll get a nice light tone. Now I have gradation of color. I think I need another bold flower on this side. This technique is really fast and you get really nice gradation of color. Now it's time to mount my panel onto some cardstock and I've chosen grenadine and carnation cardstock. These are from our Hero Hughes paper collection. So simply just add adhesive to the back. I've pre-cut my panel, my mounting panel of carnation to size. And just go ahead and place this so that all the edges are even. And next I'll mount this onto the actual note card. So apply my adhesive to the back again. Make sure it's sitting upright. I've done that before. 
and we'll go ahead and mount this to the note card. Once you have it in place, you can go ahead and press all the edges and make sure it's good and flat. Since I have so many colors of green and pink going on, I can actually match my ribbon fairly easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this around. And I'll just tie this in a regular bow. When I'm tying a bow, I do just a standard loop bow. And this ribbon is really slippery. So it's just one loop, wrap it around, and then you have a two loop bow. I like to readjust and retighten and readjust before I snip my ends. Then I'll just straighten it up. I twist and fluff until I have the bow how I like it. And of course I make sure I have it tightened. And to keep this in place, I like to add a little glue dot just under the knot. So place it between the two, re-fluff your bow, and there we have it. Now I have so many variations of green that I can go ahead and choose any of the foliage mixed accents and they'll match my card. So I'm just grabbing any gem, any pearl, and I'm putting about three in each flower center. Before you know it, your card is nearly complete. Here's my finished projects. I've mounted one onto a carnation note card and one onto the grenadine. Thanks for watching. Enjoy color layering. Thank you.